Okay, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Moon Wallet app. Um, why the Moon Wallet app? Well, I think it's a pretty good uh, wallet app for for beginners uh, new to Bitcoin. Uh, mostly because, for a couple of reasons, it's, it's non-custodial, which means that you stay in control of your Bitcoin versus the company that, uh, that publishes the application. It has an intuitive design, it's, it's easy to use. In fact, it, frankly, it feels kind of like Venmo. Um, you only use it to hold Bitcoin. Right? There's no other cryptocurrencies that are supported by the wallet app. And, and this Bitcoin-only focus, I think, makes it a little bit more simple, especially for people who are, who are kind of new to owning Bitcoin. Um, one thing that I'll say is that the recovery, like the, I'd say the recovery process and the manner in which you access the wallet app should be pretty familiar. To, kind of, to access the Bitcoin that you have on the app on a, on a regular basis, you're going to use a combination of a, an email, uh, your password and a four-digit pin. So it, it's quite frankly probably what you're used to doing on, on a number of apps that you use on a daily basis. And then um, if you were to, to, let's say, lose your phone or, 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 or misplace your password, the recovery process for, for getting access to your, your, app, your wallet and, and to your Bitcoin isn't all that intimidating in my opinion. Um, you'll need your email uh, and you'll also need a recovery phrase which is a, something that's kind of unique to Bitcoin wallet apps. It, it, it's going to look like uh, a number of groupings of seemingly random letters, but it's essentially a uh, special code that you'll, you'll input um, in order to get access to your Bitcoin. So during the setup process, which we'll walk through, it's very important to write that, um, that recovery phrase down. Now, before we go further, what I'll say is that, um, you know, I'm not an expert by any stretch, like in terms of programming or coding. Um, I do use the Moon Wallet app. I like it. Um, and what I think that that what I can offer in this video is, is to kind of walk through some of the processes and, and some of the um, and some of the usage features in a manner that I could speak plain English and, and try to avoid I think some of the confusing terminology that's that's um, pervasive throughout the, the Bitcoin space. Um, that if you're new to Bitcoin or you're new to technology for quite frankly that you're gonna have a tough time understanding. So, like I said, plain English review, plain English overview of what's going on with the Moon app. So you can download the Moon Wallet app uh, from iTunes or from the Google Play Store. And um, as you get started with the with the setup process, you'll have to enter in an email and, and, and pick a password and, as I mentioned, a, a four-digit PIN. So I'll do that kind of off video and then come back when, um, when I'm already into the Wallet app. So once you enter in your email and you choose a password and a PIN, this is the main interface of the of the wallet app. Um, as you're setting this up, you're going to want to make sure that you're in a private place and you have access to a pen and paper, because you're going to have to write down some important information. I remember I mentioned before uh, the recovery phrase, which is one of the pieces of information you'd need to use to recover your Bitcoin in case you lost your password. I'm going to show you how to kind of access and generate that, although I won't do it, right, because then you'll have access to mine and theoretically have access to any Bitcoin that I have on the wallet app. Very important not to lose this information because if someone were to get a hold of this, they would have one of the key pieces of information they'd need to take your Bitcoin. So in order to generate that recovery phrase, you're going to want to go over to the profile and settings page. And then as you see here down in advanced, you're going to see their setup recovery code. So that's what you click in order to actually generate your own recovery code. And as I mentioned, you're going to want to write that down and store it in a safe place. So at first, of course, your wallet's not going to have any Bitcoin on it. So what you'll need to do is send Bitcoin from another location, whether it be an exchange account, whether it be a different wallet, to this wallet app. Um, since it's impossible really to show you over video that process, what I'm going to do is instead show you how you would send Bitcoin from this wallet to another wallet. And, uh, and then you can kind of basically do that operation in reverse to deposit Bitcoin into this wallet. So what I'll do here is I have a very small amount of Bitcoin in this wallet, 74 cents worth. You can also cycle through to see how much in Bitcoin that is. It's essentially uh, 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. And I'm going to send some of that to a different wallet address. So I'm going to hit send, but you would hit receive if you were um, in the process of sending Bitcoin to this wallet. 
So we're going to enable the camera here and we're going to scan a QR code. Scanning a QR code is actually one of the easier ways to um, transact with Bitcoin and because it um, you're essentially not having to input a whole bunch of information and so I just scanned a QR code and um, we're gonna send essentially oops 34 cents worth to that amount and we won't even bother writing a note we'll just hit enter confirm note and so that's notice that the network fee is 25 cents and so this will cost me all, almost all of my Bitcoin that I had in that wallet but um, I'm doing it for the purpose of, of educating and showing this video and so there you go I was able to send that Bitcoin to a different wallet address and um, and that's how you'd basically transact so very easy to kind of send and receive Bitcoin from one place to another using this wallet and as I mentioned the ease of use is one of the reasons why I think that the wallet is a good choice for people who are just starting out in the space and so there concludes the overview of the moon app um, definitely drop a question in the comments if you have any questions great thank you so much